get out my way guys now i'm not feeling this look today <sighs> I look like I've got a potato head going on. I've lost a memory card that literally holds all my photos and I'm very concerned about where the memory card is. And you're not here for a rant, but you're getting a rant. You get a little bit of everything on this channel. You should know this by now. Hello honey buns, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're just joining us now, welcome. So for today's video, we have a very, 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 very exciting video. We are going to do... We are going to be doing a Depop haul. But before we get into the video, I am so, so excited to let you know that this video is very, very kindly sponsored by ShopTagger. ShopTagger is a brand that I've worked with on a long-term basis. As you will know, I've talked about them many times before. But I ain't gonna shut up about them because it is a free, easy way for you guys to save money on an absolute daily basis if you do any sort of online shopping. Depop is actually a brand that ShopTag I work in collaboration with. So you may be able to get yourself a little bit of discount on Depop as well. But it works for all sorts of brands. ASOS, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, you name it, ShopTag I have probably got it. The link in the description, it will take you to this sign up page. All you have to do is enter a few details into the sign up page once you've done that you will be coming to this page where you can click get free button once you've got the free button you want to add it to your chrome and then you want to add extension like i'm doing so yeah once you've added the extension you will get this little icon appear on your extension so as you can see i've headed over a pretty little thing like i usually would do now one of the create features about shop tagger is being able to create and save items to a list so i'm going to demonstrate this now but just say for example you find an item that you're interested in like i like this top yet select your size and add it to the bag but what you can do here is it says save item so if you click on that it will bring up like a description about the item and now you can pick the size you want and also you can pick if you want any price change 25 percent off or 50 percent off what this will do will notify you of any of these reductions and then you save it to your list so i'm saving this to my wish list so that means any reductions to this item i'll be notified so i can save money on it also when you're buying on shop tagger so you've got all your items in your cart like i usually would have here and then you can see my total is currently 52 pound however it pops up with any coupons that they've found so a coupon is actually being found for this transaction and once i wait a few seconds literally and then all of a sudden voila my shopping is automatically cheaper i've saved 10 pound 40 so make sure you do click the link in the description to download shop tagger I would highly recommend that you did it's a free easy way to save money by doing nothing so what are you waiting for get down there click that link get it downloaded start saving yourself some money now i get a lot of comments about fast fashion and it's something that i'm highly aware of i understand the comments that i do get however a lot of the comments i get regarding fast fashion are people recommending that i shop on depop ebay and charity shops to replace my usual shopping stores such as boohoo pretty little thing asos now even though i'm on here doing a depop haul and i am going to leave a timestamp here of the part you can skip to which will take you straight to the haul if you're not interested in my little rant about depop or fast fashion however uh, there is a few things I want to say for anyone that's interested before I do get into the haul myself. Depop, eBay and charity shops are not going to replace fast fashion anytime soon. And me doing this video is to showcase some of the amazing stuff that you can get on Depop. However, I'm personally not at the point yet where I'm going to stop shopping on the brands that i love and if that's something that annoys you then please just don't watch them videos it's always very obvious what my whole videos are before you click on them so it's just unnecessary to click on them just to leave hate my reasoning as to why these stores and these shops are not yet at the place they need to be to replace fast fashion now a lot of people say that shopping on depop ebay and charity shops is cheaper some of that I'll agree with. Charity shops, you can get a bang and bargain. Depop, sometimes you can get a bang and bargain. However, it's not always cheaper. There's been many a times I've bought things of Depop thinking it's a nice vintage item. 
and it's been from Brilliant Primark. Now I love Primark, I absolutely love Primark. However, when I'm paying £12 for a little t-shirt, usually Primark's not charging you £12 for a little t-shirt. So a lot of the time, Depop sellers overcharge to make a profit. Now, this is known, and this has also happened to me on eBay before, as well as charity shops. Charity shops in my area are not the cheapest anymore. They are absolutely not. I went to a charity shop the other day, wanted this little t-shirt, and it was like £14 for a t-shirt. Now, I do know that there is some charity shops a lot cheaper than others, but for me to be able to shop in a charity shop, if I want a white shirt, for example, to go to multiple different charity shops to find a white shirt, in my size, may I add, because plus size items in charity shops are very, very, very hard to come by, it's very hard and it isn't at the standard yet where it's able to replace fast fashion. Again, as for Depop and eBay, plus size items are very, very hard to find on these websites. Now, I have managed to get a bunch of items which are plus size or are believed to be plus size. Some of them have come in the look a little bit small fitting, but that'll be for the try on haul part. However, it took me three days of searching on Depop to find items that I wanted. And why should people have to compromise their fashion style, what they want to wear, because people are telling them not to shop on fast fashion sites? I just think to be preaching something like that, you've got to be more considerate of every person's budget and understanding that people still want to be trendy, still wear nice clothes, and sometimes the only option is fast fashion for that. And I think there needs to be more blame on the brands rather than the consumer, because people are so quick to jump on the consumer. But a matter of fact is, is it's the brands that need to change the way that they work rather than the consumer, because sometimes it's the consumer's only option, and I think there needs to be more aware awareness of that. Personally, for me, I don't like giving my personal address out to people who don't follow data protection policies for example if i'm shopping on boohoo i'm pretty confident that my information is secure and that boohoo do follow a data protection policy however when i'm giving my address out to every tom dick and harry when i'm shopping on depop it gives that issue there that people aren't following data protection programs and you don't know who you're giving your information to and i know there is obviously breaches of data protection and everything on likes of big stores that you see online but majority of the time you've got that extra security there that a huge business and company is following some sort of data protection policy whereas when you're shopping from individual sellers on depop usually they're not so if someone like me who would never want my public address to be given out for the sake of myself and my family that's a worrying aspect of using depop i do have a po box which i have used for these items however it is a business po box so i can't start using it for all my personal belongings as well scammers i got scammed in this video one of my items didn't turn up it's been two weeks contacted the seller got a good old block so yeah i got scammed that's another thing you have to be wary about when you're shopping on Depop is, like I said, these are individual sellers. These are just people like you and me selling their clothing items. And if someone doesn't send their item, not much you can do about it because if they don't send it, you don't get it. There is protections in place such as PayPal and Depop protection who will help you recover the money. So a lot of the time you are refunded, but it's an extra hassle that you have to go through if you don't get your item. I spent over £35 in postage for these items because like so when you're shopping on boohoo you can often get free delivery as well as 20 percent off your order it becomes a lot cheaper however when you're buying up individual sellers on ebay or depop you're paying postage on every single item so unfortunately i paid over 35 pound for postage that is also something to consider as well and another reason why it's not at the level of replacing fast fashion yet but that's me little rant about Depop. I didn't want to come on here and just do a Depop haul and kind of not mention or make people aware of my feelings and thoughts towards it all. Like because I'm doing a Depop haul, if any of you go and buy anything off Depop, then it's kind of me to blame really if you've never heard of Depop before. So I want to make you aware of that, that I did get scammed. It wasn't a lot of money. I got scammed of like £10. Um, the top just hasn't been sent out and I've had absolutely no a contact from the seller about it so yeah be wary of that if you are shopping in depop 
But me rant's over. We're going to get into the haul now. Because it actually came compulsory to wear masks in the UK, I really wanted a mask that I just felt was my aesthetic and that I would really like. So I seen this one on Depop. Stella was hand making them and I have a little bit of a soft spot. A soft spot? A soft spot for Burberry print. My boyfriend hates it, Sean, and he thinks it's really like charvery, but I personally love Burberry. And I've seen these handmade masks, so I had to pick one up. This is what it looks like. It's literally just a standard mask. So I paid £7 for this, including shipping, which it is a reusable product, so I know it is quite pricey, but I'm quite happy with it. Okay, so I found this really cute site that was selling handmade jewellery. Now, we know I love a little bit of jewellery, so I thought I would get myself some cute little earrings and I seen these and I was like oh I like it but they've got little roses dangling down from them now I love a statement earring and I just think these are so so cute like I actually think they're adorable and for £2.50 I thought what a bargain okay so the next item I got is actually a bargain so I looked online to try and find out how much this would have retailed at and I believe it retailed for around £50, £55 and I got it brand new with the tags for £35 including delivery so this was one of my bargains which I'm very excited about it is a Nova Czech style tennis dress it is by the brand Fila so it has got a little embroidered Fila logo there and it has a hole on it I love this like I said I love Nova check pattern and I really like this however it is actually only in a size large so I did take a bit of a risk getting it because I don't think I'm a large yet I think I'm more of an extra large really good quality and the seller was amazing with this dress came super super quick come with the tags on and it's in absolutely perfect condition mmm now I really love this dress but I just wish the arms on it weren't this halt a neck I wish it was like arms maybe my mum can do that for us maybe my mum can like stitch them there so it's like proper arms because the halt a neck isn't a bit of me like halt a neck I'm not here for that I was fancying myself some new dresses on this little haul and I really like the brand Fila recently I've just got a little bit of a soft for soft spot for them now i seen this little dress i decided to pick it up now this one didn't come with tags but again it's in a large so i mean it may not fit but probably going to keep them until hopefully one day they do fit now this is in a really nice velvet like feel material and it has got the feel at logo embroidered on the front i really like dresses like this at the minute and i just thought this one was so so cute and like i said i really like dresses i think with high top converse get a tan on off you go to a picnic oh this is the little velvet feel feel dress i actually love this i think it is so so cute it fits nice for being a large and usually i find brands like feel reebok they're quite small fitting so i'm quite surprised that i got in a large to be honest um but yeah i really like this what do you think i just think with a nice tan on holiday or with some converse or if i go for a picnic if you know you know they were from different sellers and including postage for this one i paid 15 pounds so this one was actually really really cheap now the next item is a bather now this looked so stunning but again this was quite pricey however it is from river island so i feel like it will have been pricey in the shop it hasn't got price on but I paid £25 including postage for this. I feel like in the store it might have been like £35. So I probably still got a bargain. But the only thing with Depop as well is if things don't fit, returns are very hard to do. Like it's not often a sell I'll do returns so and then you have the hassle of trying to resell the item yourself. That's another kind of downfall of Depop. But anyway, this is the beer that it was brand new with tags, never used and it still has the hygiene strip on it. So, you know, but I really love the pattern of this. However, the boob area just doesn't look like there's a lot there. So I'm not sure if it's going to fit. Now, I did get it in a size 18, which in Primark... I can get in there 18 bathers but i do know river island small fitting so we'll have to see i wanted this to work so much but it's just not worked it's far too much of my boob 
to go in this little cup size now i am very particular whoa, where i can get bathers from because of this reason primark because you can buy like separate top and bottom the cup shade are my favorite places for bathers because like look the bottom half fits perfect the belt's actually too big i wish the belt cinched in more but it's on the last hoop however the top half is just an absolute no-go for me yeah extra boob yeah it's just like too much boob but this looks so pretty and i have actually kept my knickers on so that i can like probably put it back on my depot the next item that i got was 23 pound including postage now this was from a vintage store and it had been revamped or re what do they call it like reworked i think they call it so basically it is a fila jumper however it's been cropped and elasticated at the bottom i really like the aesthetic of this jumper however the seller said that it was still a xl fitting but it looks quite small so i'm not sure if this is going to fit and if it does fit i'm not sure if it's going to look good okay so this is the reworked feel out jumper now it does fit in terms of the top half however the elastic bit it like stretches because it's elastic but it is like a little bit tight like yeah it just is a little tight but nonetheless i will wear it and i do like it I think it looks quite cute. So the next item is one of the items that took a bit longer to come, but the seller did make us aware before I bought the item that she wouldn't be able to post it till a week after I bought it, so I didn't mind. However, it has come with lots of kind of what I believe is dog hair on the item. I'm totally not bothered about this. I have no allergies or anything like that. However, if you did have any allergies, it's something to be aware of, but I love the item. I love it so, so, so much. This is a, I don't know what to call it, like a three-quarter no demi it's not that it's a cropped hoodie with like a little zip but it's originally from forever 21 which is a shop i never really shop in and i got it in the xl um it's a uk 20 actually so it should be a really nice fit but what i love about it is all the different embroidery of the places so you've got like new york city paris tokyo what does that say then on the back of it you've got the slogan of the places as well this item was actually only 16 pound including postage which i think is a bit of a bargain like i'm here for that price and i really like it so i thought i'd put it in my basket this is the forever 21 little top i really like the fit of this um this is how it fits i like the embroidery and then at the back you've got like the list of names but i wear stuff like this all the time like it's definitely a vibe for me i really like the fit and yeah i think it's a really nice item the next item that i got is another reworked item from a vintage store now i love fila i've got a bit of a love for fila recently as you can probably tell by this haul and i've seen this little top and it's multi-colored with a reworked elasticated waist now the fit of this looks quite nice one arm is maroon one arm is blue and yeah it's just got a little fila print and it's all striped personally really really like this and soon as i seen it knew i wanted to own it so i put it in the bath this top is giving me full-on jockey vibes that like i should be on the back of a horse for this top is anyone else getting like jockey vibes from this anyway none of the less jockey or not i really like it it's got a little elasticated waist so again it gives us that cropped look without having to tuck it under my bra and this is kind of where it sits on me i really like the fit of it i think it's nice bit of a jockey look though bit of a bananas and pajamas vibe. okay the next item that i got was an absolute bargain in my opinion because um yeah i remember when misguided released the misguided slash umbro collection i really wanted to get some stuff of it but i never ever did there was this absolutely gorgeous red turtleneck that i still think about to this day that i wish i'd got but i didn't so anyway i seen this on depop and it was part of the misguided and umbro collection now this was a bargain i paid eight pounds for this including postage i got it in an xl and it is basically a cropped hoodie with the umbro logo all down the side of the arms and there and then it does have the logo here as well now i do believe this was part of the misguided collection even though it doesn't have misguided anywhere on it oh, 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 oh. This is the little ombre hoodie again. I really like the fit of it, the style of it. I feel like there's not much more to say. It's just a little white hoodie that I like, which I got for £8 including postage. So this is probably one of my biggest bargains. Like, I really like this and again, I think it's a bargain. 
then the last item I got was £7.50 including postage and I really like this item as well. So this is a cropped, again it's got a little zip on it. Now I'm not actually sure where this is from, I feel it might be vintage. I got it in Excel but it says Caesar Wood State and maybe it's an American company, CWS, I think it might be an American company, it looks quite American. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I love this. It is such a gorgeous fit. I like it. It's nice, flowy, slouchy, loungy. I mean, if you do that, like, you're going to get a problem. But just don't do that, you know? This is just a bit of me. I really like it. And then you've got a little zip. You can zip it up. But that just looks a bit too modest for me. Oh, yeah. 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 But yeah, that is everything that I picked up in this Depop haul. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Depop hauls, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you want to see a charity shop haul. Who knows? We might do it. I might take us along as well um, and also do like a charity shop. Come shop with me. So let us know if that's what you want to see. If you haven't already, please make sure you click the link in the description to download Shop Tagger. I highly recommend that you do. It can save you so much money from literally just having it installed in your web browser. But without further rat -tat -tat, I'm going to let you go. And I'll see you very shortly for another video. Bye!